Welcome to OSU Bites from the College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences Extension at The Ohio State University. I'm Anna and today I will be explaining Hemlock woolly adelgid, managing a non-native invasive pest in Ohio. Eastern hemlock is one of the giant evergreen trees that is native to northeastern North America. They thrive in moist, cool environments and may grow to be over 100 feet tall with a basal diameter greater than 5 feet. This tree grows relatively slow and some trees have exceeded an age of 1,000 years in native forest. The tree is found in cool woodland settings from Nova Scotia across to Wisconsin and in the Appalachian Mountain Range to the northern part of Alabama. Hemlock habitats host 100 bird species, and the fallen needles provide moist habitats for thousands of invertebrates and moisture-needing salamanders and newts. The leaf litter and roots help filter rain and snow water, and the dense canopies help moderate water temperatures in nearby streams and bodies of water. On the Appalachian Plateau in southern and eastern Ohio, Hemlock is considered a foundation species in the forest ecosystems where it occurs. Eastern hemlock is also a popular landscape tree where moist soils exist. In such landscapes, the trees can also withstand pruning and shaping. Naturally occurring pests of hemlocks rarely cause major tree health issues in native stand areas. However, the hemlock woolly adelgid an aphid-like insect native to East Asia was inadvertently introduced into the United States from Japan and now causes widespread decline and mortality of trees. Hemlock woolly adelgid attacks eastern and Carolina hemlock species. Hemlock woolly adelgid uses its needle-like stylets to pierce the base of hemlock needles where plant juices are extracted. This feeding often causes tree stress and needle loss, which can eventually lead to tree death. Hemlock woolly adelgid populations explode rapidly each spring as the females undergo two egg laying cycles asexually, that is without males being needed. This pest overwinters as partially mature females that rapidly finish their development by March. Upon maturing, each female begins to secrete waxy threads into which she deposits her 50 to 150 eggs. The white cotton ball-like structures are called ovisacs and are one of the most visible evidence of hemlock woolly adelgid presence. Upon hatching, the tiny nymphs, called crawlers, move to the bases of needles or the bark of last year's twigs inserting their sucking mouth parts and feed. They rapidly progress through four nymphal instars and reach adulthood again by late May into early June. These spring generation females may develop wings, being more common when they are crowded or not. The winged forms fly away in search of a spruce host, but no suitable spruce host is present in North America so the females die. The remaining wingless females lay eggs usually less than 50 eggs per female. When these eggs hatch, the crawlers creep to the bases of new hemlock needles, but enter a dormancy period for the rest of the summer. In late September into October, these dormant nymphs resume feeding and slowly develop through their four instars during mild periods. Hemlock woolly adelgids appear to disperse by crawlers, being blown to nearby trees or on the legs of birds, or on the fur of animals that are moving through infested trees. The hemlock woolly adelgid may spread 15 to 20 miles per year in warmer temperatures, and eight miles per year in colder temperatures. Hemlock woolly adelgid is managed at different governmental levels depending on the state. In states that are designated as generally infested, 
government agencies are usually involved with releasing and encouraging biological controls, mainly small beetle predators. In these states, individual property owners that have hemlock trees in their landscapes can choose to treat the trees themselves or to hire professionals to apply treatments. A well-timed application of a systemic insecticide can rid a tree of an infestation for two to three years. In states where the hemlock woolly adelgid is not generally present, quarantine and eradication programs may be in place. Currently in Ohio, three small infestations of hemlock woolly adelgid have been reported and confirmed. Since confirmations of hemlock woolly adelgid in Ohio by the Ohio Department of Agriculture and the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, these agencies have begun the process of establishing biological controls. They also perform regular inspections and request reports of new suspected infestations. If isolated infestations are found, these are often eradicated. The Ohio State University Extension continues to work with their state partners on this emerging issue to save eastern hemlocks. You can help by scouting March through June when the ovisacs produced by overwintered females and spring generation females are most easily detected. Scouting should be performed regularly and knowing the specific symptoms of hemlock woolly adelgid helps with this early detection. Early detections can help slow the spread of this invasive pest. If you're interested in planting a hemlock, make sure your new tree is not from an Ohio Department of Agriculture regulated area. Inspect any new tree by looking for signs of a hemlock woolly adelgid infestation. If you are traveling to a hemlock woolly adelgid infested area, make sure you properly sanitize anything that may have been in contact with infested trees. Do not transport hemlock branches, lumber, with bark, or cones. If you discover hemlock trees that have hemlock woolly adelgids, contact the Ohio Department of Agriculture for help to confirm any infestation. Further content on this topic may be found on the link below or by visiting Ohio State Ohio Line, Hemlock Woolly Adelgid, Managing a Non-Native Invasive Pest in Ohio.